Yeah. You're doing good, baby. You're doing good. Good. Okay, I mark it out. All right. Yeah, maybe Oh, is it on my We finally got her latched on. She still needs to get cleaned. But she was born at 1016. How you feeling, Mama? Really good. Really good? Feeling blessed? Mm, little babies. It's good to hear her cry. She got some long fingers, guys. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> it's just her pinky. <laughs> you should see her feet, too. They're huge. <laughs> they said she's probably going to be a little tall girl. And she probably gets that from her mama's side. Mm -hmm. Is your dad super tall? And my dad's super short, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, she's doing good. She's eating. She's healthy. And I checked her heart and her temperature. She's doing good. She's a little cold, but we got her all bundled up now. So. And then pretty soon you can hold her. Mm-hmm. I'm all excited. Some long legs, kid. That's she a big old feet. Long. I said 26. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was gonna be seven pounds and two ounces. I said seven five. <laughs> We're both way off. <laughs> yeah. He's a tiny little one. And then tomorrow when she's all cleaned up and she's in her little outfit, 
we can announce her name and officially share her to everybody. Just soaking it all in right now. I think she looks like Rory the most. Mm -hmm. She definitely has the chunky cheeks we were all looking for. Yeah, she does. And then I'm feeling pretty good. I'm just so tired. I'm so sleepy. <laughs> Daddy changing the first poopy diaper. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mama has some food. Finally. <laughs> the only thing I ate was a little granola bar. Oh, yeah. It's a mess down there. <laughs> Said it's like dark brown. It's about eight. So for breakfast, I have some cereal, bacon, scrambled eggs, cinnamon roll, milk, coffee and orange juice. Someone's about to get her first bath. Oh. And she has so much hair. She really did knock out. I'm gonna show water. Oh yeah. You're just gonna put your thumb on the bottom of her foot. I just wanna show that your thumb's about the same size. Perfect. Beautiful. Oh goodness, she's rocking this. <laughs> Just doing some skin to skin after her bath. Getting her all warm and toasty again. And <laughs> she's out. <laughs> we absolutely took her her vitals this morning. Everything was good. They did her hearing test and she passed. They just had her bath. She had a little photography session so we'll get some pictures of her and I just took her name announcement pictures so I can post those and officially share her with everybody but she's just sleeping right now <laughs> so I wanted to give you guys like a real postpartum update so it's about like 14 hours post birth now My stomach is really squishy So Can I show you guys? So here's my My stomach That's what it's looking like. I'm wearing the always discreet underwear and I got so many questions on those. So I like to wear them by like putting one of the giant pads in it, at least for like the first 24 hours being postpartum because that's when you bleed the most. So I like to wear it that way just for extra comfort. That way I don't have to change like the actual underwear like every single time I use a restroom, I can kind of just like change the pad out so that's how i like to wear mine and then whenever my bleeding slows down i literally just wear the underwear by itself so yeah and then i'm going to show you guys like what the hospital provides so these are like the underwears they give you they're kind of like a mesh material I was wearing these for a little bit after birth and then this morning when I woke up is when I changed into the always discreet ones just because I feel like those ones keep you 
like more sucked in and it holds leaks better especially when you're like laying in the bed and you're rolling around and stuff because these ones can kind of just have like the pad move around so i was wearing these earlier but not anymore we have some cold packs i haven't used these this time around because i didn't swell or tear that much so i'm not in too much pain but these are really nice to have if you're just feeling really sore down there and then this little thing right here goes inside the toilet because after you deliver they have to measure like how much pee you have and how much blood is coming out of you so they use this to measure and then this little water bottle right here will be your friend because if you're super swollen down there or you have like tears or anything or you're just like really like in a lot of discomfort you don't want to ever wipe down there so you use this to kind of like squirt your downstairs to clean yourself up and then you kind of like blot with um the tissue paper to dry yourself so this will be like your best friend basically and then i also have some tux pads these are really nice well these are witch hazel pads sorry so you put these inside of your pads and then it gives you like a really nice cooling effect and then this one right here is the dermaplast spray so this is really nice if you did tear and it just hurts really bad down there so you just spray this down there or you can even spray it on your pads which is how i was doing it today so you just spray some of this down there and then it relieves like the pain, the burn, the itch. It just like numbs you down there. So this is really nice to have as well. And then here is like all of the pads that they gave me. Here's these white ones, which are kind of like on the thinner side. So these are nice whenever your bleeding starts to slow down. And then there's these pink ones which are pretty big these pink ones open up like that so they're pretty big so i've been using these ones inside of my always discreet and then i also have some of these blue pads these are basically like puppy pads you just um put them on your bed that way it catches like any extra leaks so that way you don't get any blood on your blankets and stuff so yeah that is all of the postpartum care and baby girl is just sleeping away and we just announced her name this is the picture that we used to announce this one right here so cute and then this right here is kind of what I was talking about in the bathroom how like they put um, a little pad on your bed to catch any leaks that way it doesn't go through on your bed but it looks like I got some lunch so I'm gonna go ahead and eat looks pretty good hopefully she stays sleeping Daddy is over here chilling. So for lunch, I have one sugar cookie, some lemonade, some crackers because I have a little chicken noodle soup right here. And then I have some cheese tortellini pesto pasta with some carrots. <laughs>
boxes. <laughs> Someone's not happy being in there. She does not like it one bit. <laughs> and we got a long drive, so. We'll see. I think with the car rocking and everything, she should be okay. Yeah. <laughs> How are you feeling? Nervous for the long drive home. I'm excited. I feel like she's gonna be crying a lot. <clears throat> Because we get to take her home.